Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a grocery haul for you. We went to HEB and spent right around $100 and got some things for some recipes I've been wanting to make, as well as some fill-in items and some household items. I hope you guys enjoy today's haul. If you do, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Now let's get to it. So first off, we got a case of water and a case of sodas. And then I'm gonna show you guys all of the cold stuff so I can get it put away. We didn't get much meat this time. We did get a pack of pork ribs. We're gonna make some pulled pork baked potatoes. And I also got a big pack of chicken. We'll use this for a bunch of different meals. I also got a gallon of orange juice, the boys have been loving it lately, and a gallon of milk. Then I got some half and half to make ranch dressing with, and Garrett picked out some peach yogurt. We also got two frozen pizzas. We're gonna eat one right now for lunch after I get everything put away, and we'll put the other one in the freezer for later. I got some cubed ham to make some ham and bean soup with. A bag of broccoli florets. We got some Mexican blend cheese and some queso fresco. This is gonna be for our buffalo chicken nachos. And I got some Velveeta cheese sauce for the broccoli. I also grabbed some butter because we're always running out. Now I'm gonna get this cold stuff put away and I'll show you the rest. And now for the non-food items, we just got some freezer bags to put away our chicken. I grabbed two of these Snuggle air fresheners to put in the bathrooms. We also grabbed some toilet paper and paper towels. And I got two hand soaps. I got the coconut lime to put in the boys' bathroom and the lemon citrus to put in the kitchen. I also got some foil that we'll need to make our pulled pork. And for produce, we grabbed some lettuce. I always like getting the lettuce in this pack because it stays fresher for so much longer. Grab some of these sweet peppers. The boys love to snack on these, and I do too. And I might even use them for some recipes. They also like to snack on these baby cucumbers, and I like to turn them into cucumber salad. I grabbed some green onions and some celery for our nachos. We also got some of these angel sweet tomatoes. I can't find the mini San Marzanos lately, so I'm kind of sad about that, but these will do. Then I grabbed one really big sweet onion. And I also got this pack of baking russets for our pulled pork baked potatoes. All the ones in the bag weren't big enough, so I just got this four pack. And now for the pantry items, we got some ketchup 
to make our barbecue sauce. We were running low on salt and pepper, so we grabbed some of that. We were also out of seasoned salt. And we were out of garlic. They don't have the big jar at HEB like they do at Walmart. I mean, they have it, but it's like twice the price. So we just got this bottle for now and we'll pick up one next time we're at Walmart. I also got some lemon juice for tea. I got two cartons of chicken broth for my ham and bean soup. Garrett picked out some more pickles. This kid can eat pickles all day long. Some black olives for our nachos. Then I got the boys a can of fruit cocktail. I also grabbed some more of these Parmesan crisps because we're making buffalo chicken nachos and for some reason I had salad on the brain so I grabbed those, but we'll use them for something. For the bean soup, I grabbed this bag of great northern beans. And we were running low on brown sugar and we need that to make our barbecue sauce. Grab some vinegar to clean my kitchen faucet with because it is icky. We also got the sugar frosted flakes and there was a coupon that when you bought these, you got this honey and nut corn flakes with granola for free. Last, we got some chips. I grabbed the boys some more Cheetos for their lunches. And the nacho cheese Doritos are for our nachos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also keep an eye out for future What's For Dinner videos to see all of the meals we make with these ingredients. And if you haven't already, I would love if you'd subscribe down below and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos.